what up? I'm back, like I said, uh, for my second part. On uh, this one, you're going to see uh, a couple movies that I haven't watched yet, DVDs, uh, a couple Blu-rays, and I have a uh, little announcement. I have recently just broke 400 subscribers, so I thought I'd give back to you guys and do my first um, DVD giveaway. I haven't done it yet. It's going to be a contest, I guess. So as I'm going through this video, I'll think of something in my head how to do it. But uh, nothing big. It's a couple of movies that I had uh, doubles of or whatever. Nothing new. But um, a giveaway is a giveaway. So uh, I'll go through this first, and then I'll do the giveaway and tell you the rules and everything. But uh, this first one, I was going to do any other update, but I couldn't find it. I just did and uh, this movie, it's a, uh, I guess you would call it an independent movie. One of my friends is in it, uh, Ben. And uh, it's called AKA New Jersey. What it is, it's pretty much uh, shows you uh, a crazy night in New Jersey. Uh, not like Jersey st Shore style where it's stupid shit, but uh, like a lot of drugs and alcohol and everything in this movie. Uh, it just shows you what a night in New Jersey is. So it's on Amazon, it's on uh, the web, uh, one website here, the iconindependentfilms.com. If you want to buy it, I think it only cost me like five bucks. So if you guys want, check it out. It's, it's an independent movie, so they can use help, buy it, watch it. It's good. Uh, these next three movies are DVDs that I haven't watched yet. Uh, I heard mixed reviews on this next one, but... Um, I'm going to watch it sooner or later, and it's uh, Just Go With It with uh, Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Um, I heard it was pretty funny, and then I heard it sucked. So, if you want to tell me how it is, or I'm going to watch it soon anyway, but uh, if you want to tell me, leave it in the comments. Uh, the ne this next one I saw previews for. I thought it looked really good. I found it for 15 bucks at Target. Uh, it's been out for a while. And it's the uh, next three days with Russell Crowe. <clears throat> from what I saw from the previews, it looked really good, so I'll give it a try. Uh, this one looked really good. I just got it in uh, through Columbia House, like I said before. And it's uh, True Grit with Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, and Josh Brolin. Uh, it looked pretty good. It's just that I've been watching all my other ones first. Uh, this next one... Uh, I wasn't really going to put too much into. I didn't want to watch it in the theaters. Um, I really wasn't going to go buy it, but I recently just got back from Florida. Um, and on the way back, the flight got delayed. So uh, what the flight did was all the movies that you usually have to pay for, I think it's like six bucks for pay-per-view movies, they gave it to us for free because of the inconvenience. So, uh, there was a bunch of titles, and this one, I'm like, let me, ch it's for free, let me check it out. And I actually really liked it, um, more than I thought I would, and I went out and bought it. And it's, uh, Red Riding Hood, with, uh, Amanda Seyf uh, Seyfried and Gary Oldman. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. The plot line was a lot better. Um, the graphics were pretty sick, and I do have to say, I was wrong on this one, and watching i do have to say it's it's better than i thought I, it was going to be and it's definitely a, a watch uh this next one from what i hear on youtube a lot of people either didn't like this movie or didn't think it was as good as it was i enjoyed this movie a lot i thought it was probably one of the better movies i've seen in a long time um on the on the special features on this one one of the guys says it perfectly. He says, it's an army movie with aliens in it instead of an alien movie with the army in it. And it's uh, Battle of Los Angeles. I think it's, like I said, probably one of the better movies I've seen in a long time. Uh, I say it's a must-watch. I say go out and watch it. The graphics are sick. The, the whole plot line, I mean, it's generic. Aliens come down and we'll find them. But just the way it goes, it, it shows you how the army works and everything. I think it's one of the better movies I've seen in a long time. I might put it on my top ten. Uh, this next one came out yesterday. Um, for a PG-13 movie, it definitely has some some uh, 
jumpy scenes in it, scary scenes too, I do have to say. Uh, probably if I saw this movie in the uh, theaters, it probably would have made me jump out of my seat, not going to lie. And it's from the makers of Paranormal Activity, and it's Insidious. Um, the little kid here gets um, possessed, they think it's a house, and then this lady comes and says it's a kid. And it's just uh, all these things happening, like ghosts and everything. I say watch it. This one um, I got a while ago. I think it's like two, three months now. Um, it's a kids movie. It's got one of the wrestlers in it. I watch wrestling. Uh, Triple H and it's the chaperone. It's a kids movie. It's all right. Uh, this one was kind of hard to follow. I was semi semi on it. I got it and it didn't really didn't really do much for me. Uh, season of the Witch with uh, Nicolas Cage. I don't know. I don't know if it's his acting. Uh, sometimes he it just seems like he shouldn't be in certain roles. Um, it was all right, I guess. The graphics were pretty cool, but I couldn't really follow this movie. Uh, this next one was another one a little hard to follow. Kind of slow at parts. But it was a decent movie, and that's the uh, the right with Anthony Hopkins. I haven't watched it in a while. I'm gonna have to watch it again. But from what I remember, it was kind of slow. So sometimes slow movies it's hard for me to follow. Um, but that's the right. If anybody has any comments on that, let me know. And this uh, the next the last one here is uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One. I like the the whole series. I like so. It just keeps on getting better and better. Uh, the second part of this comes out soon, so I'm probably going to go watch that. And uh, this one, I mean, most people have probably seen it, so I don't have to put too much on it. But this whole Harry Potter series, I like it a lot. Like I said, it's 50-52. People like it. People don't like it. I'm the kind of person that I love. I got every single one so far. This is uh, the only one I got on Blu-ray. I might switch over, but uh, I'd say watch that. Uh, now, on to my contest. Not even a contest. It's a DVD giveaway. Uh, all you really got to do is what most people do. Uh, leave a comment under this video telling me you want in. That's one. That'll count as one entry, and most people have the... Send me a video comment being like, Tony, I want in. That counts as two. I'm going to throw them all in a hat. I'll probably give it maybe a week, a week and a half. Um, actually, I'll give it a week. Try to get everyone to do it quick. Uh, throw all the names in a hat. First one I pull out, you'll get three DVDs. Uh, second name I pull out, you get two. And the last one, you'll get one. Uh, I got a bunch of names here. Uh, nothing big. But they're DVDs, and if you have it, you can choose from the different ones. So the first, of course, gets to choose their uh, the ones they want, and so on and so forth. And um, it's either I'm gonna do it on video. I got a hat that I could put them in, or I'll just uh, do it on the side and send you a message and tell you you won. But uh, I'll get the uh, here's the DVDs now. Here's a couple of them. So, uh, the first one, uh, I had all, I, I just got in the other video, so the Are You Afraid of the Darks. I found this one for like five bucks somewhere, and it's the Are You Afraid of the Dark uh, Freaky Favorites. There's six different tales on here. So, that's one of the prizes if you want. Uh, I upgraded to the three disc version of this movie. This is probably the best movie out of all of them that anybody would want uh... avatar i've only watched this one once so it's pretty much brand new um, this next one i had uh... An another copy of this the, this one didn't come with the uh... special features it's just the movie well it comes with some but they came out with another one that had more and it's club dread the uh... broken lizards club dread this one I got a not a box set but a DVD came out with all three of these. I got this one. This is the 10th anniversary of Free Willy. 
Uh, this one, I got another box, uh, whatever, DVD with four, and it's uh, Friday, the first Friday. This one, it's a uh, I bought on Amazon. It works fine. Uh, another one I found this movie in a I think it was an eight pack Halloween. It came out and I found it for like I don't know ten bucks. And this one I found on Amazon for five. And I kicked myself in the pants for it. But Live Animals. This one I found at a. Uh, by me, it's uh, Giant Stadium has this big, um, what do you want to call it, like, pretty much like garage show uh, kind of deal. But uh, Save the Last Dance, I have another version of this. It's got stuff written on it, but it works. And this last one is Slap Shots. So, like I said, some of these are good, some of them are whatever. Um, you can choose from them. We'll see how many people enter, uh, and I'll let you know in a week. So, keep rating, subscribing. This is my new update. Uh, maybe what I'll do in the last video I had requ uh, requests from people, I'll start doing that. If you got a request, leave me a comment. Be like, I want you to, uh, I want you to review this one movie, or tell me if you've seen this one movie or something. But yeah, let me know, and uh, peace.